Okay, so for this episode, we'll be discussing if yung dalawang ISP will be added if ever they are connected on the same TP-Link TL605 router. So this is a multi-one router. So it has four ports that can be enabled as one interface or wide area network facing the ISP. So in here, this is my LAN side, this is the WAN side. So the setup is very simple. I have Globe 300 Mbps and PLDT 500 Mbps. Okay. So I have here in the lower left is the user. So the user will try to do a speed test from Okla. This is the speed test Okla server that is in public internet. Well, this is the end user. Okay. So my mobile phone is connected to the AP number three. So what will the packet or how will the packet traverse if using the load balance? So this one is the load balance scenario. Load balance will add internet speed. This is the one of the most common questions asked on our YouTube channel. So here you go. So first, uh, the user will initiate a speed test. So it will open the speed test app then. So this one and one, one and one, two are configured load balance. So they will pass a traffic each. So first pass will, the user will send traffic to Okla speed test. So that initiate the speed test. Okla server will acknowledge, okay, I will send you packet. So, so now the user will test. So testing, it will take several minutes. Uh, speed test server will send a certain amount of packets for around 500 MB to check what's the download speed in the app. So the download speed, so now, Depending on the Okla server, which server you choose, either the connected to Globe or the PLDT. So regardless, so now download speed will have a 300 Mbps. And upload speed, for upload, the user will send a certain amount of data upload. That's why it's called upload because it's going to the server. When you say download from the server. So the question is the upload, will it combine into 800 Mbps? Guess what? What's your experience on the, during speed test? It's much lower than both, right? Yep. Low, lower. Because what? is happening is it will the tp link will share the load so we'll send one we'll send packet towards the speed test server okay so and in the speed test it will check the packet sequence i mean when you send packet here it is sequence one two three four when it receive when it is one, four, three, two, it will treat so as a resending, so causing into lower speed. So that's why it is much lower. You get a much speed test lower than the both. Okay. So if you have similar experience, please do comment and you can share what was your settings on how did you resolve this issue? Because this TP link is just load balancing. When you say load balance, it will send on the 
depends on the ratio you have set like 1 is to 2 1 is to 1 so whichever it means 1 is to 2 you're sending one packet here in the PLDT two packets because it has higher speed than this one okay and 1 is to 1 is both are alternating sending towards the speed test or towards towards the one the ISP okay so if you have any questions and clarifications please comment it down below so that's how we're teaching here in Elmer Shock's text so this is the current situation of the load balance so internet speed will not absolutely add up so in both the load balance you might have different applications like um, there are there are applications that load balance will work well and there are some that are not so depends on your application that's why recommended is to test your applications on which is the right setup for your TP-Link TL605 for me uh, the optimum is um, the failover aside from the load balance we have a uh, failover feature so the one one will act as a primary one two is secondary so if ever one will be disconnected on the internet one two traffic from your land will automatically route to one number two so that's how the failover works one is active the other is standby in the load balance both are active both active isp this one is primary secondary so that's the difference of the set up for the tp link okay so if you have more questions or clarifications please do comment down below and if you have any other suggestion by the way we only speed test okla has its own server connected with a different isp so if as you can see okla has its own speed test connected to globe speed okla has connected to its pldt the speed test servers are separated so they are connected in the cloud they are connected in the public internet but the physical location is located in the database of the oh, data center of the isp yep not only okla but the same with the facebook the youtube they are emplacing their cache in the isp that's why it's very fast now internet connection compared before that the servers are connected internationally for now they are already localizing the internet traffic especially in the philippines yep they are we have already localized our internet traffic here in the philippines so youtube facebook google has its own data center that are connected with a different isp by the way guys uh, as i mentioned here globe pldt and we have a third telco the converge and the other are we have many isp here in philippines we have rice we have pldt globe and converge and previously you have moscom pilcom yeah that's it so if you have any recommendations and suggestions yun, comment down